we're here, Lindsay and Carl. How What's are up? Red House. What's up? Not Red. skinny, not fat? Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's my stupid My name. favorite Kardashian. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, thank you. Am I? I mean, I love the Kardashians, yeah. but I also like love that you love them. Yeah, I love them. And you're just not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to and say it. And now you're besties with Listen, them. Listen, it's cooler. Like, if everyone hates a person, I'm usually going to love them. On the other side. Totally. You know? Is that why we get along? <laughs> say that's not true wait let me okay let me rephrase Cut, you know rewind all, Lindsay and I follow each other for quite some time you've been on the podcast I think now this is the probably third time yeah yeah um, is it wow I think yeah wow we get along yeah and like I have a lot of the times which you probably see too and I'll be honest too if you're being you know aggressive that night or whatever but I have taken your side in things a lot because I do as a viewer, and I even disclaimed it, I think one of the last things was like, based on what we saw, like this is what I told my followers, I don't know what happened, whatever. It was the night you were playing that the, that game, and then... The the slumber party night? Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. right. And then, and then somehow it all became about you, and you not being... How does it not? <laughs> and then and then I was like, based on what we saw, I don't know how that happened. And it does look like Lindsay is kind of has a target on her back, and I don't get why. Yeah. That, so I think that I'll, that's kind of been a theme for me as a viewer. Like, why are, why? Like, why are they getting up on her? Why don't they like her? Why aren't they... Like, but you haven't really, since the beginning, been, like, in the girl, in the clique. Yeah, no, I've never been one to be a part of, like, any specific clique. Like, even in high school, I was a complete nerd. I was not a cool girl. I was not in the cool kid crowd. I was in ROTC. I was in the IB program, which is the... I could see you in the ROTC, most though, right? Rigorous, like, it yeah. does add up. Oh, yes. Like, I was in the most rigorous academic program, higher than AP you could be. So I was, like, very much in my own world. I worked... At Outback Steakhouse, you know, I had to pay for my car, I had to save my money to go to college, blah, blah, blah. So I just was never, I've never been a part of a clique. In college, I was never in a sorority. I was the bartender at every local bar. Where'd you go to college? Pool hall, University of Florida. Go Gators. Wait, <laughs> but I, are, I you one of, are you one of those girls that says, like, girls don't like me, they're jealous of me? No. Vibe? Not at all. Um, I just get along with, like-minded you know similar work ethic girls yeah right like all of my girlfriends are very entrepreneurial like bossy girls and are very type a like those are my best girlfriends um so so yeah i'm not i'm not the girl who it feels the need to like identify in one way or another as a part of a group but I have seen you, I feel like, over time, soften a little and, like, want to be liked. Like, I see that in you in moments, you know, where you, like, want, like, okay, you're not, like, dying to be in this clique and do what they're doing. But there are moments where it's, like, you want to, like, you want to a little. Well, yeah, I want to have fun. Yeah. It's, like, so much easier during the summertime on the weekends if, like, you're having fun with, with everyone. everyone. Yeah. And, um... You know, I've I've tried hard in so many different ways throughout the years with these girls and they just they do not like me. Why do you think? I think because I I have a different mindset. Like I don't follow the crowd. I I kind of like dance to the beat of my own drum. I can stand on my own two feet, make my own decisions, have my own opinions. Carl, how different is it? Like, because you have a lot of, like, couple friends, probably. Yeah. Right? And, like, mutual friends. And how different is, like, Lindsay in those environments? Like, with different people that aren't in the house? I, well, she's she's more of herself. I feel, yeah. Like, yeah. I feel like what we've watched, at least knowing her so well and seeing, you know, the intimate moments we have with our friends without cameras being there and how she behaves. You mean this season? Yeah, this past season. I, you can, I sense with her, there's, like, a little guard up and she's almost like a shell of herself because she, she's had all these girls talk about her and say things behind her back and make her feel 
like shit about whatever's going on in her life and being in love <laughs> so i yeah even i i had the flashback to to uh sierra when she uh flipped on you at the table and I remember I was watching you. Well, I watched that scene a lot of times. I like had to rewind it. I was like, I what mean, it was happened? voted like it was nominated best fight at the MTV Awards what? last year. Did it, yeah, it did it win. No, we no, didn't, it win. didn't win. Um, I was actually happy. Oh, yeah, you went. Win. You, that was the one. That you I was like, about. I don't even know why I'm a part of this. I just sat there. And I was gonna say, you just sat there. Like you have a mouth. You know how to fucking turn it on. But Carl, like what he said, like in certain moments, I feel like on the show. You kind of like clam up. That was different. That was very different because I realized exactly what was going on in that moment. They were trying to bait me into a fight to make TV. And I was not going to continue providing. And this is last season. I'm not going to give you a free pass to have a storyline by baiting me into getting activated. So that was last year. But no, I just was like, I'm just going to let you sit here and verbally First of all, attack that's smart me as fuck and not say anything let you figure it out on your own and and we can and also like you don't have to yell at me like at the top of your lungs at a dinner table in front of everyone you can you can be an adult and pull me aside and be like hey like this is how i feel and guess what at the end of the day when we did have that conversation after that fight she was like oh i understand i'm like oh all it took was for you to just like relax a little bit yeah. and like understand that there's another perspective here but i think for this this season what carl said yeah you walk in every weekend and you're like what's danielle gonna come after me again this weekend because every weekend it was something different what is so and so gonna say behind my back what am i gonna hear from maya that all these people are saying about me like you I just have to weird. constantly be on very defense. weird as a viewer first of all the fact that carl's sober which like so proud of you. Thank you. The you closest know. I've been to drinking in the last two two years and four months was the wine fight night because I got wine all over my face. It was. I don't know <laughs> how oh, you do it. Season. I don't know last how you season. do it. Like one of the last episodes I watched where you all storm into Paige's room and you want to go in for a mo- moment. Oh, yeah. I'm like, and Carl's like jumping. I'm like, I would be <laughs> it, so how do you get yourself like good for you? Because in the moments that people were judging you guys for going to sleep early, for being, you know, grandma and grandpa or whatever, or not being as vibey or you not wanting to go to Montauk because he, because he didn't want to go. I'm like, all of these things make sense. Like, you know, you guys know more about sober living than I do, but of course it's like, if the woman, if, if the partner wants to support the partner, that's fine. If they don't, that's fine. It shouldn't be like a bad thing if you were trying for a while. It shouldn't yeah. be a bad thing if you don't want to go without your boyfriend to a party. Like, I don't know when the last time I've been to a party is. Like, <laughs> all those things weren't making sense. None of it makes so sense, Amanda. Why, you can't even make sense of it. Uh, I, it's why people no matter were what so I hard do, on you. No matter what I do. If I, by Winter House, I don't know if you watched Winter House. Yeah. Oh. They were like, Lindsay should stay sober. She's so much better of a person. By Summer House, four months later, they're like, <laughs> You've changed because you're not drinking as much. Like, no matter what I do, it is it I was, know when you said wrong. you said back like, isn't that a good thing? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, was... did you see that post? Somebody posted somebody sober. Who was it? Um somebody sober on Instagram posted like, uh, isn't it wild that alcohol is the only drug that that one guy said that. That um people like kind of shame you shame you yeah, for not for doing not, like no one would be like you're not fucking gonna shoot you're up not gonna do not heroin right heroin, now right. Yeah. what the fuck's wrong with you so that's i mean it was wild i'm 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 shocked there wasn't more of like an uproar in support of like it's just kind of it's those moments are ridiculous how do you explain no, them but to like, yourself but like it's okay that it's now trendy to be sober so people are like, oh, it's trendy to, to, you know, sobriety is trendy, so we're going to go sober now because it's trendy, but it's not okay that I'm doing it for, like, a deeper, more purposeful reason. Like and even though... Supporting your partner. Like, yeah. why is that frown? If you were struggling and you were like, listen, all I fucking want is a glass of wine, and you're resenting him for it, and it's causing problems in what? your relationship, then yeah. then, yeah, like, he wouldn't want you to. Let's go back to your togetherness because we've watched you over the years. When did you first meet? 2000 we met in 2016 at the truly original production company office 
on the west side of New York in Chelsea. It was like a, it was our first like group meeting before. Oh, the they did like match sessions no, no it was just no, like no, it was no. like a like this is like it this was is the crew season so like we didn't know what we were doing and they kind of got all of us together in one room to like give us a top level logistics yeah, like this is, this is on like none of you how to film a reality no TV we all show. We, majority of the group knew i, I knew it kyle was, and everett it was kyle and i's like group of friends oh you knew kyle I knew Kyle, been in a house with Kyle Everett, previously. Christina, my roommate. The Workers Twins were my best friends at the time. Um, and then who Jack, I remember Jack you Lynn. dating Jack one of the twins. Yeah, Lauren. Yeah. But the first time, so I had heard, because I was friends with Kyle and He Everett. was the one who was like peripheral. I was the last addition to, yeah. the, to the group. But I, I was peripheral in that at that point. I mean, I knew Kyle and Everett. I wasn't like best friends with yeah. them, but I was friendly with them. And they had, you know, told me about what was going on. And they were like, we need another guy. Like, you want to come party with us? I was like, yes. And then they, I said, who's on the, like, who else is on this? And they sent me the names. And I remember Facebook was still a thing then. Yeah. And I stalked Lindsay, the twin. Like, I just wanted to get an idea of who yeah. everybody was. But I remember literally, I'll never forget. I remember looking at her Facebook and I'm like, she's the hottest one. Like, that's. <laughs> and then I sat down at the production meeting and across from her. And I was like, Lindsay. Yeah, he was like, Lindsay. <laughs> he comes in 15 minutes late, by the way. He likes to remind he... people I was late. Well, you were. Why do you like He's... to remind people he was late? I don't know, because it was... He I was late to my own wedding. There was an empty seat. Like. What? I was kidding. You mean your own funeral? I think the saying is that you yeah. were late to your own funeral. Okay, so there was a seat empty across from me, the only empty seat, and he was noticeably missing. Yeah. So then he sits down, and we have this... Our very first interaction ever was you sitting down... And being like Lindsay, and then I'm like Carl. And do you remember something or no? Like, do you remember if you like were like, mm, he's cute or? He I, rem I yeah, I remember her like being taken aback by yeah. her her looks and her presence. But, but was the, there a vibe? But, but she had a, she had a blue dress on, which I'll never forget. <laughs> did you? I guess I was like, what? I'm fairly Wait, did you? So, but there wasn't. I don't remember there being any like romantic vibes. No, she was season. with Everett at that point oh, they yeah. were together you came into the house dating everett yeah yeah oh, it man, was they remember. were really mad at me but we everett and i had also been really good friends for years yeah and then we accidentally started j d dating at coachella in <laughs> april and then started filming in june yeah so they were like god damn it Lindsay! like why couldn't you, you like, have figured this yeah. out and i was like i don't know we were just into each other well now like everyone's kind of taken on the show well, the new people aren't. The new but, people but, aren't. But but yeah. There, yeah. there are a lot of relationships, but you only see or talk about a, like Half one or of two it. of them. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Lin Lindsay and Carl, Kyle and Amanda well, a little bit, well, but that's Kyle, about it. Well, Kyle, I have it. so much to talk to you guys about. Like I'm, I know I'm going all over the place, but like Kyle, this season, can we talk about like from you know having his relationship kind of be the relationship that's talked about and 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 you know people kind of feeling that he's a shitty partner and just this season sometimes i'm you know, find myself being like kyle like he really is getting he understands the assignment now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know how to explain it. he's getting a really good look this season happened. kyle has we've been with this guy for seven yeah. seven summers he does bring a lot to the group and to the table yeah energy his comedic stuff he is a lot of fun to party yeah with. But I think, yeah, that's like we love seeing that. But I think what's been hard is like, like we have a friendship here. There's a long history like with there's us. There's more than just the show. And yeah. Behavi yeah. behavior towards people that genuinely have looked out for him and really try to protect and support his relationship. Yeah. And for him to lash out at her, or me, like it's 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 really difficult to watch. Like yeah. as someone who like really thought we had because you never a did that right like when people were talking about his relationship oh my god no. we were incredibly ever. always it been was supportive number one them. support and number two i, I officiated their wedding no i know holding a grudge season after season does not make good tv no no and also as a person Lindsay, i thought you would say <laughs> it's not good right no, it's I like think, what is it how does it serve you i mean we're, we're right oh, well yes we're also too like life is too short yeah. to hold grudges yeah you know like exactly well i think we the four of us have we all understand to some degree that what we are involved in the world we live in is is very unique and very interesting. So there is a lot of grace. I think we try to practice yeah. um, amongst uh, the core of it because of everything we've been through, what we've had to share, the vulnerability, real, real life moments have been really 
amazing, really hard. I mean, we've all experienced like, but at the same time, I think it only is people who watch the show. Friends can have their ups and downs, but I think our friendships are going to take on new shapes, new evolution of it. It's not going to be like it was season one with Kyle and Carl, but that's okay. Like we don't want to see season one Kyle and Carl anymore. We want to see season seven Kyle and Carl, or maybe it's a more adult. I'm in a serious relationship. He's married. Like I just, I hope we can continue to forgive. I'm interested in season eight, Kyle. Did you guys, did you guys move (laughs) forward? He's apologized. We have gotten together. I'm proud that we've gotten, we've moved forward a little bit, but there's still more to it for, for me. And I think our relationship to move forward in a more positive way. I feel like there's so much more to come this season and trying to plan this podcast. I was like, you know, to aim for the middle, for the end, for the when, because I know there's that there's no planning. <laughs> there's no planning. There's a lot. And it really does progress over the season. Right now, we're at a place where you've had a few conversations. She feels like you're not there for her. You feel like she doesn't support your relationship. She had said that it's weird for her. First of all, about the moving fast. I want to g- go to that first because that is a wild one for me. Yeah. Very wild. Well, and Same it, with Andy Cohen. He she, brought that up. She mo- well, she moved in with Robert after two months. And then for her to on the other side of it to be like, you guys are moving in too fast. When I've, you known know her since, other, I've known her since I've known since twenty sixteen. We live in the same apartment building. You know it since twenty sixteen. <laughs> you've been best friends throughout the years. You've tried to date before. You've spend summers and summers together you're at the age that things move quicker regardless totally. of knowing someone people get engaged now after less than a year when they right. haven't known each other for 15 I mean years. love is blind have you seen that stuff I know, it's crazy you should not watch that <laughs> no, I, just, I like just that, interviewed now that's crazy from, not I know. us crazy <laughs> but maybe, not us. True. maybe she should try it and no one's saying that about love is blind right we're not like that's great we're like no it's that's love. my that's the biggest issue i have with the show is it's literally insane how like that I mean I'm so happy that people find their their partners, but Some, like, people give us crap about eight months. It's like no, is, we've known each other for so long. We built so this foundation, wild. and you were there for him, and vice versa. There's like, some pretty dark times, by the well, way. Well, each I mean, if you think about each summer that we've been through, you know, Kyle had Amanda, and Lindsay and I were always right, like each other's always. kind yeah, of so that's kinda, that's support. How it started for real, like. Kyle and Amanda would always like show up to ev- events together, red carpet things, you know, appearances, blah, blah, blah. So Carl and I started teaming up and doing everything. Even when promoting each of the new seasons, Carl and I were always paired together to do media. And then like we slowly but surely became best friends. Then we tried to date and then that didn't work out as you saw season four. Then we miraculously went back to being friends. And then somehow- That is miraculous. Like it's crazy, well, that, right? Thank God. And I'm so glad that we were able to f- like I find don't it. Hold grudges. <laughs> well, that and I think our friendship was even stronger. And then again, you know, my brother passing away, she was incredibly supportive and there for me. So like, I think the confluence of all of those things kind of like just really added like this incredible bond we had as friends. So yeah. Wait, when you tried the first time, it was the finger banging. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> still think about it. I still think I about we're at the no, hotel. No, I still think about using the, the, the fact that hotel. everyone was just talking about it and using that terminology. Yeah, what else did they talk about? They have nothing <laughs> else going on. They might as well talk about us. So, and that was even season four. But we miraculously went back to being yeah. friends. Then we somehow got closer as friends. Then he moved into the building. Then we were hanging out more and more. And pe- this is the part that people don't understand. Even before Carl lived in my building, we were he would come over like two or three times a week like no joke and that was before he lived in the building yeah like we then he moved into the building so we would hang out like every day but like basically every day and this is no cameras this is just like no flirtation just friends no No, i I mean friend flirting but nothing like (laughs) i always thought she was i was always attracted to Lindsay. i'm not gonna lie okay the point okay you had the feels after I did like a Zoom watch what happens live. Yeah, you came down to my apartment yeah. in this like hair pulled back bar- like Barbie, Barbie doll. I was like, it was like 12 p.m. during the day because you like, had to rec- jerk off after that. I, he, it was. He it, said that to you. Yeah. <laughs> no, she looked un- like I was just blown away. I, I was knocked me off my feet. And then he was like, I shouldn't she knew be feeling she this doing. way. These are naughty thoughts about she my. She knew best what she was doing. <laughs> she came right down to my apartment after the interview because she was like, I'm going to show him what I'm wearing. Yeah. I was like, Do you remember though? Were you like in a way trying to be like, 
look at how hot I am, Carl. Probably. What are you doing? I think Why aren't you making a move? Here's the thing. I think I It's kind of never... like Kourtney Kardashian and Travis Barker, you know? Yes. Oh, yeah. It took it. <laughs> She's like, I like that comparison. It took him years to make a move. Yeah. And they were neighbors. Yes. You got to Oh, like my God. It. it is like I didn't. <laughs> and they were neighbors. Yeah. So, well, maybe, okay. Maybe you can set up a friend yeah, date. Maybe you guys them. have to do a double date. Talk about how you met. So. You guys always say that it was at Amanda and Kyle's wedding that you like started. What does that mean when you say that? Like, what? I don't think that's when it started. The, I think it was prom. Pr- the prom party was the last party of season six summer. We had our kind of our end, our of, end of summer Day party. party. And typically and at prom, you invite someone. But we were both single at that time. And I think the rule, like when you're best friends, and you don't have a date to prom, you go yeah. with each other. So she in like the most cute, like sweet way, wrote this handwritten note and slid it under my door and asked me to prom. And I'll never forget when I got the note, I was like shaking. I was like nervous because I had the, I was like feeling these feelings because she wrote a really sweet kind of flirty note. Will you go to prom What'd with you me? write? Well, I'll read it to you if you want me to. What? How do you have it? Because of course <laughs> I had everything. to document this. Okay, but where are you going to find it? In what folder are you going to find it right now? I'm going to search my phone for September of 2021. She's oh my good. God, she is good. You're calculated, Lindsay. No, I just have a really good memory. I'm not your worst enemy. My memory is. I she, say it all the time. She should have been a detective. Oh, really? Her memory's really good. I have She's a really so good, good memory. Okay. Did you find it? Okay, hold on. Okay, you, so keep going Carl. with the story. So she wrote me the note. I was no joke. Was like, oh my god, like is this like what is she flirting with me? Like, you know, it I think just I was, was like, yeah. My blood was boiling. My hands were sweaty. I was like, okay, I'm gonna write her a note back, and I wrote back. I don't have a picture kind of, of a, a cute note as well, and slid it under her door. Like, yes, of course, I'd go with you. Let's end the summer with a bang, no finger. Oh. And that was kind of the poetic no. way of saying, like, I don't. <laughs> the poetic. Okay, here, the it poetic. Is. here it is. So poetic. Here's how girl. it went. My dearest Carlito, I'm so excited to go to prom with you. There's no one else in the whole world I would rather say farewell this summer with, except for maybe Tom Hardy. He's my guy. <laughs> okay. She's yeah. He's her. I know get it's out like unexpected, but he's my hallmark. I mean, it's not. He's hot. He's so hot. Yeah. But like people don't really like choose him I as know. like their first pick. We're right. That's true. That's, I think that's why I like him. I feel like we've never been closer, except for that time we almost had to call the plumber because the basement was flooded. Here's the summers that we've had and the many more to come. XOXO, Hub House. Okay, he read his, that. Okay. Wasn't that flirty? Yeah. Oh, it wasn't? Did you feel like it was? I don't know. I thought well, the way it was she like, read it was flirty. Yeah, that, she that was read like, it flirty. I wish it, I wish it yeah. came with like a, a, read it a talking note. <laughs> you read it flirty, but were you feeling something at the time? Were you trying to? So the prom. So basically, what, why I say that prom kind of kicked it off was because for the first time since season four, here we are at the end of season six, and I had like butterflies, and I was excited, and. We and like I didn't want to leave his side and he didn't. We we were by each other's side the entire party. He was such a great prom date. Um, and by the end of the night, we were like cuddling on the couch and he went to bed and I went to bed. And at the time, our rooms were across from each other. And I was like, oh, I was really enjoying cuddling with him. So I snuck out of my room and snuck into his just to cuddle. And like that. And that was it. That's all we did. Nothing happened. Just cuddles. And then My we, heart was racing that entire time. I'm like, what's happening? Are we cuddling or is there going to be more? I'm surprised you haven't cuddled more throughout the years, like platonically. Yeah, no, we we always, well, we kind of had different relationships right. That's true. in between. Like, but you had different relationships, but did you have anything really, really serious that we saw on the show? I mean, Stravi with me, where I'm yeah. screaming to him about sandwiches. I know, but like looking back, was he like, would you consider I him honestly kind of- looking back I think that I pushed <laughs> down my feelings for Carl and like then tried to fill my time with like other until he was ready like that's like what until I- you were ready but you weren't really having like serious relationships no, no I mean the most ser- I mean I've I had been in a fairly serious relationship before I was ever on Bravo um but then you as were I young though, right? Yeah, I was in my early twenties, mid twenties, and I didn't I didn't go engagement I mean I went I went looking at rings, but I never purchased anything and that relationship kind of faded and didn't work out. And then as I got to New York, I was always like Mr. Single Guy b- being a fuckboy, like just talking to multiple girls, 
being isn't it wild though he that was he was such a bad boy? boy. <laughs> like looking back, like you weren't a good no, I was, guy to no, these I was, girls. I was a sh- and and now you're quite like frankly, such a good boyfriend. Well, I, I think I had to learn and watch back. I mean, I've watched my behavior and I'm embarrassed and ashamed of how I've treated women and how I've handled myself and how I've just you know represented who I thought I stood for. And it was very eye opening to watch myself, you know, just be a, a piece of shit. Um, so yeah, I mean, my relationships on the show have not been very quality and or like legit right it's been more flingy i and think since early. starting i think since starting the show so we're seven seasons in the longest relationship that you had and correct me if i'm wrong was like six months yeah it was who was Kier- it kirsten and that yeah, was yeah, yeah. season three three at the end of season three we started that, dating yeah but that was short actually i'm the one who was like go ask her to be your girlfriend and right what's now. wild another wild Thanks, thing babe. about both of you is how much shit you saw each other go through like how many dudes you've seen her with how many girls you've well, seen I, her I would with. always see her with you know whether again i've i've had front row seats to some of her relationships i'm not going to speak poorly about the guys but i would very quickly okay, realize speak poorly about them. i would very quickly realize is this is not the guy like, like you he's wouldn't not, be worried like you, even if in the back of your head you thought you would maybe end up together like I, I always wanted yeah. her to be happy. It was always like, I don't think this is the guy for that's you. That's what I would and think. And then for me, it was always like, I don't think this is the girl for you. Did you guys have a pact ever? No. no. Like one of those pacts? No. No? no? I, I remember a conversation we had last summer, season six, at breakfast, where I just, I told you, like, I can't think of a world where you're not in my life. Mm. And I want to, like, friendship is number one, but, like, you are, I want to find a way for us to be in each other's lives no matter what it takes. I remember some of that. Are you gonna cry? A little bit. I can see it. <laughs> so sweet. Tearing well, up. the thing it's, is, it's been an emotional uh, well, day. You, yeah. with your brother passing, and you said this before, and I was thinking it when thinking about this interview, like that brought you closer somehow. Like totally. you were there for him in such a way. Well, it was it was her birthday the day I found out, right? Which was oddly, just you know, crazy that that happened, but also I think. My when in that moment, all I could think about was like, I don't want to ruin Lindsay's birthday, you know. Yeah. And oh my. My God. first thought was like, I want to go give her a hug because I was sad that I like had to be the bearer of bad news for her big day. Which, as we know, Lindsay loves her birthday and we love supporting her birthday. Um, but every year since then, it, yeah, it's been bittersweet. It's but I think it's a reminder of how lucky that I am, how we are, and using my brother's story to help my life, help other people. He, he's in a healthier place now. He was very sick. And was struggling a lot. And you weren't close with him when he passed away, right? No. Unfortunately, I had distanced myself from him. Shockingly, because of the show. Like, early on in season one of Summer House, I talked about things going on at home. And I actually didn't speak very kindly about my brother. Mm. Which, in a weird way, like, kind of how Kyle talked about me. Like, it was similar. Like, I talked about my brother in a, in a way that wasn't healthy or supportive. For... For addiction. For addiction, for some of the illness. Because you didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. So using some of that, I'm trying to, with Kyle, I'm trying to practice some grace, but I I think that created a a distance. My brother had a lot of anger towards me and Bravo. Oh, he watched. Yeah, he he actually went on Facebook during season one and like posted all this stuff about Bravo and the cast and me. And like, again, anybody who looks at it clearly can see that there's some some wires a little crossed yeah sadly you know and i'm i regret that deeply because it, it created a huge rift between my, my me and my brother but right yeah. before the filming of season five i had had an opportunity to get together with him oh good but i unfortunately declined because i just wasn't quite there but i was still at the beginning of my like journey of sobriety okay so you started getting so before he passed i was trying yeah trying trying and he passed right. and that's when i was like fuck it i'm just gonna go balls the wall and do it. I was right back into the same kind of old ways. Do you regret not? So you didn't get to see him. I didn't, mm. but fortunately my brother did connect with a woman, uh, right after he got out of rehab. This is a few months before he passed who had shared with me some really nice messages that my brother had said about sent. you. Correct. And he's really proud of me and just, you know, glad to hear that I actually was like coming to grips with my demons. Oh, Cause wow. there was a lot of animosity with my brother because he knew I had, I was an addict and he knew I struggled with my alcohol and, and drug use. But here I am on TV being kind of glorified. Yeah. You know, when the season started and you guys were going to sleep early or whatever the talk around the <laughs> house was, 
Mm-hmm. And or people were saying that Carl, you know, doesn't look as happy as he did before now that he's with you or other things. I was like, in my heart of hearts, like I felt so strongly that I know that like the Carl that we saw all those years being the party, being the Kyle vibe, whatever. I w- that's what I told my followers, at least. And correct me if I'm wrong. My opinion was like that wasn't Carl. That was Carl who you kind of could be the fun, like outgoing, talk to everyone, fuck boy, whatever. But you needed the alcohol and the drugs to like be that guy. 100%. And now without it, you're who you are finally. When a lot and of, Lindsay right. allows you to be that. And I'm like, how don't people well, I already, see I that? I also saw that. Well, she got to see that even Carl early on too, though. Through the bad car. Mm. Like I always saw who he was because of those moments that we would spend like that's who he is he gets up early for berries like that's who you that you know we could see it too shining through sure well also people need to realize like carl last season season six was also sober like it's not like this is his first season sober and like he's going to bed early together he actually like we went to bed later like than most of the girls in the house the girls go to bed. Once the cameras are down, they're in bed. We're usually up staying, you know, staying up at least an hour later before we go to bed. So, I mean, this yeah. whole narrative is fine, but like. Yeah, it was just at the beginning when Kyle was, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think. I don't know. We, we've we've out of anybody in the house. The reason we were out of season seven is because Lindsay, Carl and Kyle partied their asses off seasons one through five yeah yeah. one through (laughs) and if i need to take a little you were fireballing it up yeah and if we need to take a little night to go to bed at midnight so be it but you know i think we showed up a lot more the rest of the summer which i'm proud yeah and we've been partying in the hamptons far and we did go to seven years (laughs) and who can party so much i mean how and even how do you guys keep up with the themes like you're not over the themes yet you like it i love the themes personally because being sober it gives you a character mm. you can play into and it's a little it's something different that you can get into without you know having to worry about what you're drinking so yeah. i love costumes or themes because i can really lean into it i mean i love the themes i i think we're starting to reuse them like i did a hoe down season one for right my and you did it again yeah so we're kind of like i don't know it's hard to come up like each year like with new themes yeah every year but Sure enough, we somehow managed. And people love a theme. Yeah. Well, and the fun fact for viewers and for you is we do collectively come up with these ideas. It's not like we're... And do you order everything on Amazon before? I yeah. always wonder. People are like, how I've do gone, they have... I've gone all out. Even it's so far all out. There's Abracadabra in New York City. It's yeah. an amazing costume store. I've rented costumes from Abracadabra. Oh, my God. For, for He's parties. He's a serious one. Um, Get into it. Well, Labor Day, our, our jungle theme, I ordered like three different outfits and none of them came. I don't know what happened that weekend, but... It's I know. When people were like, how do they know? And I'm like, they shipping. fucking Amazon it. Yeah, as whatever you can find. Dogs yeah. kill... Amazon, yeah, you know anything. No, the theme. Anything the, you can get your hands on. The themes are definitely kind of, like, I mean, a quintessential Bravo thing. Yeah, now, and I, I do appreciate like the deep conversations while everybody's got wigs or <laughs> face paint oh, right. on. Or, yeah, yeah. That's always a funny angle, but yeah. I don't know. I feel like the themes, it can run its course a little bit. It's got to be, you know, moving forward. I think we really need to have rocks. stronger themes. Well, and ones that everybody buys into. We've yeah. had themes where like the party guests who come over don't even dress up. And that's right. not a good, that doesn't work. And well people want to know: Are they real? Are they friends? Yeah. Okay. Oh, the different. people who come. Yeah. yeah. Literally, everybody in the cast Just is supposed keep... to invite friends. Yeah. There's a few select ones that actually invite their friends, and yeah. those friends come. Yeah. And then you know, I think those friends maybe invite a friend invite or two. Yeah, but yeah. other than that, it's not like we're standing outside of you know Sag Harbor, <laughs> yeah. you know, ice cream South shop, Hampton handing out tickets. Club. Okay, so before we go, I do want to ask about the wedding is there talk about the wedding is there wedding planning oh planning we are we've got a venue we're locked in what yeah. when is it gonna be 
November 2023. Yeah, this November. What? Literally like in six and a half months. That's moving too fast. The rent is too high. <laughs> oh my the gosh. date is too Here close. The date is too close. <laughs> I know. Not even a long engagement. My God, you guys. Yeah, only like, you know, a year and a half engagement. Oh yeah. my God. November. Certainly in no, but Kyle now and Amanda's well, we, status. We took, our, we took our time after the engagement. We traveled after, you know, Labor Day. We were in Europe for two and a half weeks. Yeah, we didn't like launch Bravo, right in. BravoCon was around the corner. And then next thing you know, it's Thanksgiving and like, oh shit, we got to start planning. Yeah. I'll, I'll say this yeah. if I'm allowed. We've been on Bravo and Summer House for seven years. Right. The thought of us not having our next chapter of our life, the wedding, be involved in some capacity in filming, yeah. the thought of that, it, it, it seems weird yeah, to me. Yeah. Like, I, we love sharing our lives. We've been a part of the show from the beginning. Aww. Two cast members fall in love and get married. Yeah, I would think sense. and hope it makes sense. that that would be on TV. But that but means we'll that you would have to, like, that means that cast is going to be there. Yeah, but yeah. it's also like what cast? Like we're friends at this point. I'm friends with a lot of housewives, other girls on other shows. And on this like, show, you got close with the new girls, right? With love, Sam love, love, and yeah, Sam and Gabby. Gabby. People yeah, are great. Shout out to Chris too. We like Chris. Yeah. <laughs> What did I forget, Chris? Is that what you're saying? No. Might have forgotten. Chris. I gotta add the, I gotta, for Chris. I, yeah, we. I. Lo, I think Chris is actually. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. I think. Yeah. It's tough sometimes coming in as a new dude. Yeah. And especially with uh, just me and Kyle at the beginning. Yeah. I think he struggled a little bit just to figure his way yeah. out. But you know who will one thousand percent be at our wedding? Corey? Luke and Andrea. <laughs> uh, Corey too. <laughs> Luke oh, and wait, Andrea. Can we talk about cutting Tasha out of the 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 peg. Oh my god. <sighs> Lindsay, I help know. me help you with that situation. No, I, honestly, like, <laughs> I didn't even realize that they were holding hands. I got to be honest with you. I had no idea. It's okay. We everyone, had such a when, phenomenal When everyone's Easter. posting a picture, they look at themselves, right? Like, yes. you're not looking at other people. You no, were you looking look at how else. you came out in the picture. Well, no, we had such a fun Easter. Like, we had all of our friends over. Everyone made a dish. We were Irish dancing. We were river dancing we were we were dirty a, a, dancing. Italian dancing we were italian salsa dancing, dancing salsa dancing like all this in your we, house yes yeah. like we have video upon like i didn't post you should see the videos <laughs> no it got it, it was a weird it was a fun easter, weird easter 2023 so i just was like oh my god what a fun easter let me post like our one group photo yeah. that we took by the way a ring light took this photo right we set up the ring light we put it on a self timer we're all in the it, photo it now looking back it's giving it's giving ring light Vibes, self timer vibe. Oh, it was self timer. <laughs> yeah, it was like number four, in the, in, number four in the series of self timers. But we were there for probably fifteen minutes, like organizing Taking the light. It's a big, it was I, a big I group. took a couple practice shots of one of our friends, Tony. Like I'm like, okay, because the the Empire State Building's colored like Easter colors. It's a perfect shot. I got it framed. Okay, guys, now get in the shot. So you weren't looking at Luke and Tasha. No, I. Well, had and no if you don't want to be posted on social media, don't get in the picture that right. two people that are on. Social media. So yeah. Like, like, so what are we going to do? Wallet size day. pictures? Like I post it. By the way, my 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 best friend Katie posted it. Yvonne posted it. Yeah. Two other people posted it. E! News had already picked it up. I, I then post it. I have no... I'm not paying attention to them holding hands. So I, why did you delete it? In because Luke called me and was like, can you just... Can you just take this down? Uh, like, Or can you crop us out? And I was just like annoyed. That's annoying. Because it's like, okay, well... It, it's already been up for two it, hours. I know. Like it's it, gonna make it worse. Yeah. But sure. So I <laughs> cropped them out as he asked me and I reposted That's it. Really silly. Because I had a fun Easter at yeah. our apartment yeah, I mean, with it's... our friends. Wait, so Luke is gonna be invited. Yeah, Luke, Andrea, Katie Maloney, I'm Ariana. About your cast. Oh, um Well I think Luke I th Andrea, well, Kyle and Sam, Amanda. Gabby, Corey. You're not sure about Kyle. And I mean, Amanda. we haven't like we really haven't talked about cast yet, to be honest. No, it's something we were. I think we wanted to obviously watch the season, truthfully, just to see how people reacted to our engagement. Right. And, like, these big pivotal steps. Right. You know, I th it has been really heartwarming to watch Kyle in support of my. Yeah, I will say Kyle like has you know giving me a little bit supportive. of motivation, confidence. I mean, proposing to your girlfriend on national TV with all the layers of it, it's complicated. So having Kyle's support there has been really nice to watch back. Were you surprised, Lindsay, at the engagement? Yeah. We spent the night in the hospital the night before. I was like... I really threw her off. Yeah, he really threw me off. Which you'll see on... And uh, then, like... Aaron, I think. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, it was at a beach we'd never been to. So I was like, oh, is this called, like, Seven Years Beach? I, I was, like, not... I just was not expecting... 
any of it yeah. when it happened. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like now we have a picnic. Um, you know, I thought he was like saying thank you for like spending the night with me in the hospital. Yeah. Like I thought it was like a cute little thank you from him. And it turned out to be an engagement. And now a few months away, you're getting married. Yeah. It's Just, all happening. It's all happening. Are you going to have someone officiate your wedding? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We ha- we've, yeah. There's been a lot of, you know, probably our own fault, but just rumor mill about who's officiating. We're, we still haven't finalized that, but I know there's been a lot of talk about someone from Bravo. But oh, her I and I are going to... He always does this. <laughs> we literally have not talked about anyone officiating the wedding. I know. That's we, what I'm saying. But like, he said there's you a always rumor mill. tease that we're going to well, ask it was Captain been, It's Lee. been asked of me before I brought it up. Who's going to officiate your wedding? And yeah. then it gets start, the rumor. Get, yeah, oh, like, yeah. what about um, Captain Lee? What about Kyle? Oh. Like, so I'm not necessarily You're thinking about Captain Lee. That was a, that, that's been brought up. Yes. Like we love Captain Lee. He's going to be at the wedding no matter what. Really? But Hopefully. W- you know him well. We haven't yeah. invited oh, him. Oh, really? Well. He's on the invite list. <laughs> we haven't. No one's been invited to the wedding yet, babe. Well, now I'm excited. We to haven't see. even said save the day. It's got to help us. Yeah, we got to finish this. We got to go send save the day. Yeah, we got to go. Well, Carl and Lindsay, I support you if that Thanks. means anything. Thanks, And I'm Amanda. sure you're going to have a thousand people at your wedding because you've been to a thousand weddings. So all those people, you guys go to weddings every week. Yeah. We've had a well, lot yeah, of basically. You should, Amanda's always like, you're always at a wedding. You're we have a wedding always, next week, too. No, really. Yep. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having us. Yeah, of thanks course. for having us. Appreciate the opportunity.